Now, Laura, again, again, definitely thank you for joining us today. I want to jump right into it. Now, there is a video on your YouTube channel, and we'll put the link up here with Richard Dreyfuss, where you guys are talking about acting in the zone. Now, in the video, you compare acting to being a god or giving birth. Now, having, com like, having complete control over your emotions and the audience. Now, there's no doubting that your love and respect for what you do. When did you realize that acting was something that you wanted to do, and what was the inspiration that propelled you in that direction? Well, I'm going to tell you the truth, although it's a weird story, but I first want to say those two quotes about um, acting making you feel like a god or giving birth, I want to be clear that I, to my knowledge, have never been a god nor given birth. Um, <laughs> but but uh, that sense of creation, that sense of creating an entire universe um, is what I was talking about. And, and that's different than that thing of feeling that you are feeling that you're controlling the emotions of the people watching you, that's mm -hmm. a little different than that. And my sentiment about that is a little different. Um, so I'll, I'll answer the question at large, which is uh, how did I get here? Um, it's a weird story. It's a weird story. I was, uh, I was a, I had a regular, career path planned out. I was 25 and uh, I was a homeowner and I was um, married and I was um, getting ready to start my doctorate in uh, creative writing and English literature, uh, which is what my master's is in. And, um, and I thought I was going to be a professor and write novels and that that would be my path. And so I was on that path and I was getting ready to start uh, schooling and I was planning, you know, I was meeting with advisors and getting all that geared up because it's a huge undertaking. And um, I was running a dress boutique. Uh, Jessica McClintock had opened her first East Coast dress boutique and I ran that and I modeled uh, and I taught college English at night. And so I was at a modeling gig in New York and I was coming home on the train and I sort of had my head leaned against the window and I'm looking out the window, watching the world go by, clack, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and I heard a voice and the voice said, you're supposed to be an actor. Now, I don't know if that voice came from somewhere deep inside of me or whether that voice came from somewhere on high or whether it was just my subconscious yelling from the back of my head to the front of my head, I have no idea. But I wasn't in the habit of hearing voices. So when I did, I paid attention. Um, it turns out that Rene Russo heard the exact same phrase. So maybe there's a voice that's just out there going to, you know, you should be an actor. <laughs> I don't know. And I got the call, but, um, but it, it felt like a calling. And that was weird because as I just stated, my life was sort of not about any of that. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I did something crazy. I, quit all my jobs, I moved to New York, I sold my house, and I started studying acting in, at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. And the very first day I walked in there, I felt home, I felt known, um, and I, I just, it was, it was what was I was supposed to be doing. That's crazy. So are, are you, so I mean, she said she heard a voice, and the first thing you respond with is, that's crazy, goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know, it's a weird story. Yeah. Well, I mean, to hear a voice is one thing, but to but to drop everything and go and do this one hundred percent. That I mean, that's that's a little crazy. It's out there. Well, and twenty five is is young for a human, but it's pretty old for an actor, and especially a female. Twenty five is you know you're you're getting up in your twilight years, and uh, and I. I didn't know how to act. So I went to the American Academy to learn how to be an actor. That was, you know, I spent three years in three and a half years in New York 
learning. And then I went to LA and spent another two years learning before I even tried to get an acting job because I wanted to be competitive. And I knew that the women my age were like Helen Hunt and Jodie Foster. And you know, like, how is I supposed to, they've been working since they were, Jodie Foster been working since she was in diapers. And yeah. Helen Hunt been working since she was like eight or something. I mean, they, these were really, you know, like, yeah, I to go up against them. Why don't you subscribe? It'll last longer.